Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on August 3rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything else affecting humanity. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, smash the like. Looking here at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, not much activity on the sun, a couple of glitches and a small eclipse of the SDO camera, I believe, and some glitches going on, incoming imagery there and as well outgoing, looking at those pretty active regions heading away from us to the backside of the sun. And we did have one CME eject from the sun, but it was from the backside. And as well, looking at this large plasma filament here that just kind of jumped and fell back into the sun. And yeah, minor glitches going on with the Solar Dynamics Observatory, especially with 304 angstroms, which is the filter that is being used. Looking here at multi-spectrum. Again, not too much to talk about. A pretty quiet Earth-facing sun. We do have those developing coronal holes, which are now in an Earth-facing position, both northern and southern latitude. A much bigger one following the southern latitude coronal hole. You can really see them with 193 angstroms here. So quiet on the Lasco 2 and 3 as well. Even the backside CME not showing here was pretty minor at that. And our real-time solar wind has definitely calmed down. We're sitting now at about 310 kilometers per second. One small spike in the last couple hours here. We've already seen the space weather event. We had our KP index of 5 through the 2nd into the 3rd. Everything remains low today. Looking at Eswa here, you can see the CME just missed Mercury and is heading towards Mars. So that little CME is heading right at Mars and just missed Mercury. Looking at Schumann resonance for today, a healthy and powerful 78. Looking at the chart here, you can see it is off the charts. Healthy power of 78, quality of 12.6. And yet again, I do believe the Saturn effects. I've got a headache yet again today, so I'm trying to cope with that right now. Let's have a look at earthquakes here. The last 24 hours across the planet, we're going to start out here at a very active Japan throughout the day, the day today. So during the Olympics here in Japan, they've got earthquakes and many of them started out the day with a 5.8 and saw another sizable 5.6 in the region and as well, many aftershocks. And that's off the coast of Japan and as well, northern parts there, 4.5, pretty deep, 145 kilometer depth. So Japan's rocking today. And as well, India, starting with the largest earthquake today, a 6.1 earthquake in Nicobar Islands, India region at, the, at a 10 kilometer depth. They had a pretty sizable 5.3, 5.8 to follow. And a couple notable earthquakes here, Philippines, Indonesia, right in the middle of all of this action, 4.700 kilometer depth and as well 4.8, roughly 100 kilometer depth there as well. 5.5 here, Papua New Guinea, 10 kilometer depth. So yeah, very notable there with the 4.8, 4.7s in between all of this action. And then we started the day here with some pretty deep earthquakes. 567 kilometer depth at a 4.6 magnitude and as well a 5.4 at a 486 kilometer depth. So deep earthquakes, we were expecting larger to follow and they did. Looking here at a 4.5 in Iran, 10 kilometer depth, and as well, Greece is rocking today. 
seeing a sizable 5.2 and aftershocks to follow. They've been very active as of late, as you will see in the seven day after I show you here. And as well, a couple notable earthquakes, a 5.0 and a 5.1 here in uh, southwest of Africa. So African plate, well, close to the African plate, seeing some activity down into Antarctica. As well, looking through South America here, Chile at 100 kilometer depth. And as well, the border with Chile, Argentina, 4.2 there. Quiet through the Caribbean plate. It seems to be west side ring of fire action today. Pretty quiet across North American plate as well. No major earthquakes to talk about. Minor earthquakes through Yellowstone. Uh, the swarm continues through Northern California. And it's kind of fishy that there are huge fires just north of that. And Alder Springs has been seeing the swarm recently. And as well, a notable 3.3 her earthquake Tom's Place just east of Mono Lake. Size bulls 3.1 here to report in Hawaii. Seeing earthquakes in northwestern parts of the island and southern. And continued activity here through Alaska as we're seeing a lot of steam and venting volcanoes through the peninsula. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Let's have a look at the last seven days. And you can see still we're seeing a pulse a resonation across the planet from the large 8.1 earthquake that we saw in Alaska a few days ago. Across the planet, every plate, every craton, seeing activity. Activity coming back to the Indian plate and increased activity up into Eurasia and many deep earthquakes in our regular Fiji region, but it's happening in South America, and it's happening in Japan, it's happening in India. Deep thrustal quakes. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, and please, just get yourself a bug out bag, have yourself ready to leave home at a dash's notice. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Let's have a quick look here, satellite imagery overlooking Northern California, and you can see we did have a fire there in uh, just north of Chico. But man, did it ever blow up today. You can see satellite imagery and as well the hot spots overnight. Wow, those are some big fires. And we didn't have any lightning or storms going through the region. Just wanted to note that. So these fires continue to just pop up out of nowhere. And as well through bc here southern bc you can see no fires currently going and then all of a sudden boom 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 one two three so i do believe that the pacific northwest and as well california is under immense pressure and i think we're seeing these gases being released possibly magma coming up in certain areas and igniting very dry tinder. Looking here, this is the last 48 hours for lightning strikes across Northern California. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. And of course, we did have Antioch Chuck who awakened two days ago, or yesterday and two days ago, I put out the volcanic activity report so now we're sitting at 44 volcanoes across the planet, active and erupting. And we're going to check out the most recently updated today, looking at Shevelich in Russia, as well Popo in Mexico, Dekono in Indonesia, Merapi in Indonesia, notable, that's been on high alert all week, Sabancaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Many new fires today throughout Russia. Very notable. Stay tuned. Uh, Reventador in Ecuador. Swiss to Najima, Japan. Sekirajima, Japan. Nevados to Chilean. Fuego in Guatemala. And as well, Antioch Chuck, United States. Alaskan Peninsula. Also looking at Uluwan, Papua New Guinea. 
So about 13 volcanoes getting updated just today. And you can see there are many fire alerts, 172 active hazards. New fires through Northern California noted here. Siskiyou County, the Antelope Fire, just recent over the last 24 hours as well. The Trinity County Monument Fire. McFarland Fire, Trinity County, yet again. And as well, Elaine County, Middle Fork, Oregon. Southern Oregon seeing a small fire there. And many new fires through BC, as I showed in the satellite imagery. Overlooking here, we do have two tropical storms, or sorry, three tropical storms to talk about. Tropical Depression, Ignacio, who is taking an all of a sudden jet north and will probably disappear. Also, we have Hilda, who is most likely heading towards Hawaii, and as well, Tropical Depression 12, who will be affecting Japan and all of the Olympic participants. Overlooking Russia, we do have many new fires that have popped up over the past 24 hours. And I'm going to show you satellite imagery here. This is a lot of new fires for the region. Looking at NASA Worldview, this is what it looks like from space. Many fires. So all of those orange spots are your hot spots. Russia being inundated right now with thick wildfire smoke. Man, our planet is changing big time. Look at the size of these low pressure systems in the Pacific. That big bad boy has been trying to get into the Alaskan Peninsula. No wonder we're seeing all of the activity. Overlooking Northwest Territories there, some new fires breaking out. This is today, satellite imagery. And as well, overlooking the Atlantic, no major sandstorms heading our way. And overlooking North America for all of the smoke and fires across the countries. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. As we have some pretty large systems spinning in the Northern Hemisphere. We're going to start out here, Calgary, Alberta, as we still have this big heat dome. We're kind of involved in the Pacific Northwest heat dome and no moisture for the next week is in the forecast. Weather Network keep keeps uh, forecasting rain and we don't get it. We're not going to get it here in Calgary. You can see big low pressure system heading in through northern BC is going to be bringing rain. Northern Alberta could see some pretty extreme weather. Northern Alberta into Saskatchewan and you've got a big low pressure system in north of the Hudson Bay that is going to pull that sucker right up quickly. So and it might break off. A big wave of moisture is going to head across northeastern part, uh, states of the United States, bringing some extreme weather, but nothing major through the, throughout the week, except for central parts of the United States. And as well, I forecasted much rain along the Atlantic coast for the next few days. Big high pressure ridge still dominant in the Atlantic. And it looks like that low pressure system has left from underneath of it. We're going to have to keep an eye on the long, long range forecast. It is a very big and deep lower level low. Also watching a lower level uh, low pressure system here develop off the coast of Africa. Most likely will turn into a tropical depression in the long range forecast, but nothing major will be forecasted. Unless, of course, sometimes space weather can change a forecast of a hurricane sometimes overnight. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system through central parts and as well a large low pressure system affecting the United Kingdom over the next few days. It's going to keep things wet for the next five day forecast. As well, Iceland looking at a couple systems heading towards you this week. No major weather systems through Saudis. Overlooking West Indies and Southeast Asia. Still have this low pressure system here. Flash flooding alerts have been put out 
through northern Pakistan and parts of India. Low pressure system over Myanmar looks like it's finally going to let loose, but it's going to be heading towards China. As the last thing they need is a big monstrous low coming off the Tibetan plateau. They're looking at a five day forecast here, two pretty big systems affecting the Olympics here in the coming days especially Japan and China watch for flood alerts over the next few days continuing wet situation there overlooking the Pacific Ocean as you can see a big low pressure system wrapped up into the Alaskan Peninsula is going to wrap around Kamchatka and come back into it No major weather systems affecting Australia this week. Big high pressure ridge. Going to keep things dry mostly and cool. But pretty notable system in the long range will be heading towards southwestern parts, Perth. As well, overlooking in New Zealand. Looks like you've got almost a tropical system heading to you by Thursday and Friday. Lots of rain and strong winds associated with that storm. Overlooking the Pacific here, Hilda. Looks like it's going to be heading into the high pressure ridge. We'll see what it does after that. Not heading towards Hawaii. And as well, you can see uh, the other tropical storm most likely will not develop at all. No major weather systems developing through Central America. No major weather systems affecting Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out that the big low pressure systems spinning around our planet right now. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Don't forget to smash that like button and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.